Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Love ya. And I thought I'd explain a little bit about where I live. I talk a lot about other countries and comparing and things. Um, this probably wouldn't be interesting for Americans because it's, I don't know, stuff that people generally know in America. But, I mean, even, it might not be that interesting in general because comparing Europe and America is like, um, they're very similar in terms of like population and they have a lot of different states. You know, America is supposed to be United States and a state is another word for country. So we're supposed to be like 50 countries put together. But America is much, much more um, assimilated and much more similar across each state. There's, it, people like to point out differences and it's fun to explore differences and things like this. But it's really not that different. It's like Canada and America, two different countries. We're really not that different. Um, it's certainly m much, much more similar than if you compare, you know, if you, like Germany and France, which are right next to each other um, and have been forever, you know. Um, you could pick almost two any countries in, in Europe and you'll probably find uh, many, many more and much larger differences. But anyway, let's get into the video. Um, this is a this is showing like a, a 4k kind of overview of my state of Wisconsin um, it has a lot of green and I didn't really realize that until I had been to other states and just other parts of the world and well wow, that's kind of a weird circle in the trees there but anyway um, uh, sometimes people like to make stuff in the woods I don't know whatever anyway um yeah, it's, it's, it has a lot of uh, rivers, it has more lakes than any other state. Um, our neighboring state is M Minnesota. Uh, as you can see, this is, um, I don't know if this, I think this is probably Lake Superior, which is the lake on the north side of um, Wisconsin. And our lakes, we have two, we're bordering two of the largest lakes in the world, Lake Superior in the north, Lake Michigan in the east. And our lakes are the sizes of small seas, basically. Like, uh, I think I think I had just seen that, I believe it was the Adriatic Sea, which is, like, uh, between Italy and Croatia. Um, our lake, Lake Michigan, is, like, half the size of that, so it's pretty big. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of green, and some of these trees are, like, starting to change color. So, like, we get a really big color change, and you can see some of the change here already. Um, in the fall and it turns like orangish and yellow and red and um, just tons of explosion of color it's really really cool um, so a lot of people like fall and we drink uh, something called apple cider or some people drink it um, some people drink hard apple cider and basically it's like it's like apple juice I don't know if I don't know if this, people drink this in Europe or if they know what it is um, my wife is Brazilian and she had never had it and it's basically like kind of I think it's like cooked apple instead of so when so it has yeah when they like firm not fermented but it's like um, yeah it's it, you drink it warm generally and it has a little bit stronger of appleish taste to it I think it has a little more concentration than apple juice um, but it tastes you can kind of taste that it's like cooked. I don't really know how to explain it, but, but it's pretty good. It's, I mean, it's pretty similar to apple juice, but yeah, like I said, you heat it up. Some people have it with alcohol. Um, in fishing, skiing, hiking, um, hunting are all big things in Wisconsin. I mean, definitely more in the rural areas. We have two decent sized cities in terms of America. I'll just go back over this. This this video is like whoops, this video is pretty good. It's not like super representative of all the things in Wisconsin. Um, I just found it to be pretty nice. Um, but we have a lot of different like terrain and different um, features. We have like bluffs. Uh, we have uh, plains. We have forest. I mean, it, it's really quite diverse. And. Uh, my state's really well known for uh, cheese, um, and it's 
pretty heavily consumed here still. Um, I don't really eat cheese much anymore unless it's on pizza. Um, I never really liked it that much, but it, we're, we're pretty well known for cheese. Um, in fact, if you look up Cheesehead, Wisconsin Cheesehead, or Green Bay Packer Cheesehead, uh, you will see pictures of people, a lot of times men, a lot of times big fat men, with a cheese hat on. And people like to wear those to Packer games, and Packers are our NFL team, national football team, which American football. Um, people, the Packers are another like really, really big pride point for a lot of Wisconsinites. It's the only team that is owned by the. It doesn't have like a big, one big, rich owner. It has like a ton of individual owners. It's like owned by normal people. Um, although owning it doesn't really mean much because you don't get money. So I don't. Anyway, it's kind of weird. But anyway. Um, It gets we 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 are the I believe the second coldest state on average. Um, so Alaska definitely gets colder, but we actually get colder than the southern part of Alaska. And um, there's several reasons for that. I think it's two of them are because we're surrounded by these two giant lakes. And you get a, a lake effect from that, which means like it just makes it colder, and you get some more windy. And then I think it, I I allege I don't know if this is true but I allegedly I'd seen on a map and heard that there was like tunnels that come from um, Canada like wind tunnels that come from Canada and bring like cold air down. Minnesota, the state next to us, is also extremely cold, um, but uh, uh, I believe on average our, our winters are colder. Um, at least in the north of Wisconsin, certainly. Um, so, yeah, people like doing stuff in the winter, snowmobiling, um, yeah, like I said, skiing, sledding, all, all those things. Um, snowboarding. Uh, okay, so snowboarding. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, my there is an accent in Wisconsin, um, and it's it's kind of similar to the Minnesota accent, and just a little bit similar to Canadian accent. But it's kind of like uh, one word that we say differently than the rest of the country. Pretty much is "bag." Um, I'll say I'll say like "bag," but uh, other people will say like "bag." Uh, so it's not that crazy. We also call water. Um, fountain of bubbler and uh, the reason for that was allegedly the, the first one I don't know in the world or just in America but at least in America uh, was I believe made in our capital or in some place in Wisconsin and uh, they called it a bubbler and so then it that's what it was from then on um, Wisconsin I mean, st people still call, people call it, you can call it a water fountain here too, but nobody else in the rest of um, America calls it a bubbler. You know, backtrack on this. I, I, I would have gotten a longer video, but I don't know, maybe I'll, I, I don't do much with editing, so I just, just picked one. Um, and I couldn't find a better video, it was singular. Anyway, uh... Yeah, so it's a uh, you get a lot of snow in the winter, and um, uh, winters can last really long. Um, anywhere from it depends on what you consider winter, I guess. But I think it could be like five to seven months, um, and you can even get like really weird days where it'll snow. Like, we have the we, most unpredictable weather. It's like, uh, I literally remember days where it was like 80 degrees, and then um, and then a day or two later it was snowing. Um, and then it would go back to, you know, warm again. It, it was bizarre. It's, it can be really, really bizarre. Um, 
it, that mostly occurs when it's like well, there will be some some like little heat wave toward the end of winter, um, or uh, you might get an early real frigid cold during the, the beginning. Also, um, it gets so cold sometimes that we have cold days. So um, I had a friend from Norway who said, I asked him if they had snow days off ever, and that just means like in school or some businesses, sometimes if it's snowing so hard or so much, they'll cancel school. But we also get cold days in Wisconsin occasionally. This happened two days in a row when I was in high school. When it was so cold out, it was like, I think it was negative 30 Fahrenheit, which is pretty close to negative 30, I think it's like negative 35 Celsius, because negative 40... Celsius and Fahrenheit are the same, um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's and the reason being is that like little kids go out and stand for the bus, and so they don't want them to, um, you know, get frostbitten, or um, yeah, if they just got lost someday somehow, you know, you never know. It's a kid, uh, and they were out in the cold for I don't know a half hour or something. It could be really dangerous. Um, I don't know why they keep going over this thing. But, uh, yeah, um, if you want to hear more of, like, kind of the old Wisconsin accent, you can look up this guy, Charlie Barons. He's a comedian. And, um, like, it's sort of like, don't you know? Hey, a musky wah. Kind of like that back of the throat type of thing. I think I, I might have a touch of the accent, but it's very, very minimal especially compared to, uh, yeah, just other people in more rural area of Wisconsin and sort of like in the past people had more of the accent, like my grandparents had more of a Wisconsin accent, certainly. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else major. I don't know if it's interesting for people, but uh, if, uh, if you ever come to Wisconsin, I... I think it's, I hated it when I was a kid. I was like, this state sucks. This is the, one of the worst places in the world. And then I went out in the world to a lot of different places and traveled. And I loved that. I loved traveling. But I realized how good it is. Because um, you can see, I mean, this is, this is gorgeous, I think. Um, and it's not like a super crowded state. So you can get a nice piece of land. You can it maybe... The pieces near the water are often much more expensive, but um, you can get something. Um, I guess I'll speak on the major cities real quick. Um, and that uh, Milwaukee is our biggest city. Madison is our capital. Madison's more like in the middle south. And Madison's considered one of the best cities in America, I think. Um, I think it's very nice. It's surrounded by two lakes. And um, just like it's one of the best, maybe the best party schools in America is UW Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin Medicine. It's just really fun. Um, people are generally pretty cool. Milwaukee is not a place I would recommend going to, um, certainly not going to alone. I think if you go along the lakeside, excuse me, pick up, it can be a cool place. Um, if you, uh, certain areas are kind of cool, it's kind of growing, it's kind of getting better, but there's a big area of Milwaukee on the, the northern side of Milwaukee is very, very dangerous. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it, it, it might not be easy to tell if you're not from there, but, uh, but eventually you'd figure out you're in a bad area, so. Um, I would say, like, along, if you stick near near lakes anywhere in Wisconsin, you should be fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty good. Oh, um, we do have, uh, in, in Milwaukee, maybe our, maybe our most famous building in the whole state is the Milwaukee Art Museum, which looks like a boat, and it actually moves. The building itself moves. It's a giant piece of art. So that's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I'd say it's worth checking out if you come to Milwaukee. And if you ever come to Wisconsin, definitely hit me up, whoever you are, if you like what I do. Um, always looking for friends.
But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, sorry, the, the 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 scenery is repetitive, but I think it's nice. Um, like I said, there's it's much much more diverse than this. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I think that's about it. I could talk more about like sports teams and stuff, but I don't think that'd be very interesting for foreigners. Um, we have a bunch of American sports teams, and um, uh, I don't know. We have some pretty good schools. Blah 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 blah. And I'm trying to think of anything else. A lot of farmland. But uh, yeah, um, I think the lakes are probably the one of the best features of Wisconsin. Anyway, thank you for watching. Love you. Have a good one. Oh, I just forgot. Cheese and beer. Beer is one of our biggest things too. We have uh, most of the most bars out of any state per capita, I believe. And we have a lot of the most drunk cities. That's not something to be real proud of, but. That's the way it is. Um, yeah, I don't really like Mars, but pretty popular here. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Love ya. Have a good one. If you would, uh, like and uh, comment, subscribe if you want. If not, that's cool. Take care.